Hey everybody, welcome to the page. Today I'm going to be talking about a Web3 project. It's an NFT gaming project and it's called The Undeads. And there are a few different games that are in the works. Um, there was one that was just released a couple days ago on the 16th of November. It's called Rush, Undeads Rush. And it's an endless runner, um, play to earn game. And uh, there is also an airdrop that's happening. I'm going to be talking about both of these at the end of this. Um, we're on the page right now for the main game that's supposed to be released in Q1 of 2024, and that's the Undeads game. And it's it's uh, and that's also a play to earn game. And it's going to be humans versus zombies. There's going to be 6,666 zombies and humans. There's antidotes. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's uh, there's pets. There's babies. Uh, zombie babies. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. Um, and you're going to be able to earn uh, these UDS tokens, these undead tokens, by performing these different tasks throughout the game, uh, just like your, you know, any of your typical uh, play-to-earn games. And uh, you know, uh, there's a story that comes along with it, obviously, that uh, you can find out about later. So I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible. Um, we're going to jump right into the airdrop that's happening. So, if, uh, if you were to go over and participate at the missions page for Undead, there are 20,000 slots available to participate in this community airdrop. And essentially what you would do is participate in uh, any number of these items below and uh, meet the criteria and you get awarded these points that will be converted to um, the UDS. UDS tokens. So um, there are three different airdrops that are going to be happening. The first season is going to be a three month long season and 4% of the total supply will be airdropped during this, this airdrop. And there are going to be a few different things. So like if you hold an NFT, you're going to get rewarded for that. If you do the, the loyalty points, um, you're going to get rewarded for that. If you do the community thing, uh, you get rewarded for that. So um, there are several different ways to accumulate these UDS tokens. And uh, now is a good time to get into it because there's not a lot of people participating right now. There's nearly 500 participants in it. And um, like I said, these loyalty points uh, they will be converted to these tokens in February of 2024. So, okay, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Um, you, you just got to connect your wallet to be able to participate. If you don't, then you're not going to be able to collect any of these tokens for the airdrop later. So we'll go ahead and um, get into the tokenomics, I guess. Um, so at some point, there was a valuation for these UDS tokens at 22 and 30 cents. So, you know, uh, we'll leave it. We'll leave it right there and see what happens. Um, what the market dictates for that. Uh, we'll go ahead and get into um, the rush game. Let's see which I've already got open here. And we are inside of the game at the moment. Let's see if can I how do I back out of this? All right, so here's the landing page for for the game, and this is um, this is just for desktop at the moment. There's going to be a mobile app uh, released very shortly, and this is the Endless Runner game. Uh, you earn, you know, you basically run over zombies, you crush zombies, and and uh, you climb your way up the leaderboard. And the higher you are on the leaderboard, um, the more you're going to get awarded for these airdrops later on. And if you own any of these other collections right here, you can also participate if you don't have one of these Undeads NFTs. So you can go ahead and play this game for free right now if you own any of these. Otherwise, you can play the demo for free, but you're not going to be able to accumulate and uh, reap the reward of the airdrop later. So you can play for free on that, but uh, like I said, you're just not going to be able to accumulate any of the goods. So um, take it that for what it is. And you've got different uh, vehicles, different health levels on all of those. You can upgrade all of the armors, speed, health. Same with the weapons. Uh, you can get these different uh, uh, grenade launchers, lasers, all that sort of stuff. All right, we've got the leaderboard. You're trying to climb yourself up through. 
All right, the game points. Um, so yeah, each day you're getting awarded these different game points. So if you can stay within the top of these leaderboards, um, then you're going to keep accumulating these game points each day, which will get converted later on. Uh, so yeah, I mean, the longer you play, the more you play, the better. And uh, let's see. So, okay. So that's just a little bit of uh, an overview. We'll go ahead and jump into the game because I've already got the page opened. And we'll go ahead and play this. Yeah, it's a good way to sit and collect a little bit of cash, having a little fun, playing some video games, getting some airdrops. Boom. All right. So, like I said, this is a free game. It, you can run through the game and not upgrade any of this stuff. It doesn't cost anything to play it once you get in here. But there is an option to come and purchase um, coins, in-game coins. You can also collect these tokens on the road, these EDS tokens. You can collect them, um, but they're very hard to find. And they blow up, and you're not able to collect them. So, <coughs> excuse me. So the first time you, you do make a purchase, if you do make a purchase, um, I believe that there is a little bit of a bonus just for the first time purchase. So like this 100 coins that you would get for 5 bucks, I think you actually get 2,500 of them. Um, but then if you were to buy it again, then you're only getting 100, 100 of these in-game tokens. So um, then you could take those and use those for any number of these things that will upgrade during uh, one single run. Um, there is a few different things that you could get if you want to go that route. Um, again, you're going to go ahead and come in. You're going to start with a cab. It's going to have, you're going to have almost none of this. You know, if you want to upgrade this stuff, you got to try to collect these tokens on the road or pay for them out of pocket with, uh, I think mean, you can use a credit card actually to make a purchase through the game. Um, but yeah, then you would upgrade any of these things. Uh, you know, like I said, your, your weapons, all that I've upgraded. Both of these weapons, these are the only two I have. I've got this car. I uh, had the race car at some point. So, like, when you hit, let's say, 100 points, then that unlocks um, maybe the car. But then you have to come in and purchase the car. You've got to buy it with, like, 100 or 200 or 500 tokens or something like that. So, it's a little bit of a catch there. So, um, you know, if you're starting out with nothing, you just got to work your way up. You got to grind through the game until you can get to a point where you get something like that. You know, like this thing, uh, just about all the way upgraded except for the speed. You know, it uh, this thing plows. It plows through things. It can take a little bit of damage. I've got the rocket launcher. Um, I've got a score of 17,212 right now. Um, we'll go ahead and see if we can uh, get anywhere near that. I mean, I probably won't because I'm not using any of these bonuses to double up, but... Alright, so this is all done on a on a controller on your key keyboard. Like, this mouse doesn't control anything. You can see it on the screen, but it doesn't do anything. You're, you're going left with A and right with D. Spacebar shoots. Q is your pause. So, uh, we'll go ahead and do a couple, like, little mini runs here. Like, if you hit anything, you're gonna die. Boom. You're dead. Like, it doesn't matter how good your vehicle is upgraded in armor or any of that stuff. So, try not to hit anything. There are going to be obstacles along the road that you got to hit. Um, I've got this really awesome grenade launcher, so I'm blowing up, like, herds, like, in big piles. Like, when you start out with the cab, you got nothing. You got to run them over. You just got to keep running them over. You got to dodge everything. There's zombies that have armor on them, these big suckers. There's these big old fat ones here that have, like, uh, dynamite strapped to them that cause a lot of damage for you. Um, so you gotta, you gotta try to avoid those ones. See these ones, these fat ones right here? Those, those will take a lot of damage off you. Uh, there's cars. These are obstructions on the road. Like, if you hit that, boom. You know, like if you if you're in the cab and you don't have upgrades, that's that's gonna blow you up and you're dead. One more hit, boom! I'm probably dead. And uh, I guess with this with this thing with my plow, I can take a little bit more damage. But you know, I hit this thing. 
this barricade, boom. One more barricade. We'll just hit we'll hit this obstacle here and we'll probably die. <laughs> boom. Alright. Let's go ahead and do a serious run. We'll see how far we can kinda get through here and I'll I'll give you some of my tips and tricks. Um so yeah, just try to throw out your, your rocket if you've got one, if you've got upgraded that far. Uh, I mean, if you're trying to, you know, do this game and farm these rewards in any kind of seriousness, um, you're going to just, you're going to shell out a couple bucks and upgrade your video game. Uh, that's that's how you're going to, you're going to get any good money on your airdrop. And that's, that's all I got to say. <laughs> but if, if you can get your rocket launcher upgrade that if we can get this thing upgrade that i'm not too concerned about the speed on on this vehicle kind of the slower the slower i go with this thing the better um i can you know dodge obstacles if i can't blow them up right away uh if you've got the cab or something like that i would recommend upgrading the speed on it because um when you start out and there's no upgrade on it you're not able to plow through like two or three zombies at a time um so your speed drops and then they just sit there and chew on you and you're toast um so like with the cab i would yeah i'd, I'd bump up my speed on that one um just to plow through the numbers and and try to get yourself up over 100 so you can get that sport car um when you kill about 100 or 50 zombies roughly i think the ammo starts popping up on the road um but you're not able to collect it unless you have a, a gun already or a weapon already so it's kind of pointless to even try to collect them if you don't have a weapon so um that's just my little two cents on that like i said i like to hit i like to hit these uh the zombies that have the dynamite packs on them um you blow up a whole bunch of them and I like to throw I like to throw a couple of rockets around the corner because uh, if you can get them to pop up around the corner or blow on the corner, then um, you're just giving yourself that much more of a chance to to get further in the game. You might not hit anything, or you might hit a couple of them, but anyway, that's kind of something I like to do. Fling a couple up around like that, and then I take a tight corner. That's another thing I do is just to try to eliminate. Oh, that was too tight. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, taking a tight corner, that way you eliminate any of them popping out on the side at you. And we'll go ahead and just do one more game here. I don't want to keep this too long, because I know the video's already running pretty pretty long. But, uh, this gun doesn't move on a turret. You can't use you can't use your mouse to move it, so you can, you can kind of see I'm, like, jittering back and forth with my key. Just to be able to spread where these things are blowing up at. Um... So yeah, there's just a couple little little bits of information that hopefully are helpful to you guys if you're interested in this project at all. If you're trying to collect any of this airdrop, I mean, I know I'm kind of blowing my spot up a little bit by um, telling some of my secrets out here, but I also kind of want to promote the game up a little bit to you. I mean, this game is super challenging. I got <laughs> I got to say that's why I broke down and paid a couple bucks, but you know, you got to pay a couple bucks to be able to to put money into these Oh, God, into these airdrops, you know. Uh, these airdrops, the money doesn't come from thin air. I mean, people got to put a little cash into these games to be able to uh, split that out. So, anyways, take that for, for what it is. Um, if you're interested, go ahead and find out the project a little bit more at, uh, at undeads.com. Uh, Rush, un Undeads Rush game is happening right now. That's what we were just playing in another few months. Um the undeads game um with the metaverse and all that is going to be coming out and that's another great play to earn game that i'm looking forward to and hopefully you are as well so anyways i hope you enjoyed and uh maybe we'll see you in the next video